Let's look at the Entry and Network Policy API and how it can be used to secure clusters. First, let's look at our Kubernetes cluster. It consists of four nodes. We have some Linux Ubuntu nodes and one node running Windows Server. One of the Linux nodes is an ARM64 server. As we can see here, Entry has been deployed to the cluster already. We have also deployed some applications using Kubernetes deployments and services for two different tenants, tenant A and tenant B. Notice how tenant A is running both a Linux web service and a Windows one. By default, all pods can communicate with each other across all namespaces. This is the standard Kubernetes network model, and we can verify it here. As you can see, a client pod for tenant B can access the tenant A's IIS service, which is a Windows web server, as well as the NGINX service running on Linux. How can we restrict these communications? Entry supports a rich network policy model and uses different tiers to accommodate for different personas. We will define policies in different tiers to prevent cross-tenant traffic, authorize client-to-server traffic for tenant A, and enforce a baseline default deny policy. Let's take a quick look at some of our policies before applying them. This cluster scope network policy prevents cross-namespace traffic between tenant A and tenant B. It uses a reject action and has logging enabled. This second policy is owned by tenant A and allows traffic from client pods to web services within that namespace. Finally, this is our baseline default deny policy, which will drop all traffic which doesn't match any policy rule in any other tier. We can now go ahead and apply our entire set of policies. Let's now verify that these policies have been enforced correctly by Entria. First, let's make sure that pods from tenant B can no longer access the services from tenant A. Because we use the reject action and not the drop action, a TCP reset is sent by Entria and the connection is refused immediately. For the other client pods from tenant A, the drop action from the baseline default deny policy is used, so the connection just hangs. Client pods from tenant A can still access the services, as expected. Entria provides a plugin for the Octant web dashboard. The traceflow feature can be used from this plugin to generate trace packets in the pod network and validate connectivity on network policy enforcement. Here, we generate a trace from tenant B to tenant A. We can see that the traffic is being denied on the destination Windows node as part of ingress policy rule enforcement. This is what we specified in our security ops policy. Because we enabled logging for some of our policy rules, we can now check those logs for matching connections on the Kubernetes nodes. First, we can check the logs on one of the Linux nodes. We can see connections being dropped by the cross-tenant policy and by the baseline policy. The same logs are available for policy rules enforced by the Windows node. Thanks for watching. We hope you'll give Entria a try in your cluster.